To get planes like this in the air faster, pilots are now essentially texting the controls tower instead of talking. CBS 2's Vince Girasoli went behind the scenes at O'Hare to get a look at the new technology in action. And stand by for From pilots in the cockpit to controllers in the tower, there is a lot of talking going on just to get clearance for takeoff. Rainer's Romeo Alpha Yankee November Romeo. And they read the whole clearance to us. Rainer Romeo Alpha Yankee November Romeo. You have to read that clearance back. Bravo Romeo Tango Mike November. These printouts from the tower show it's an alphabet soup of coded flight plans that consider fuel supply and weight on board. We have to manually enter it into our flight management computer. Tango Mike November. All that takes an inordinate amount of time. As many as 10 minutes. And if weather conditions change before takeoff, even on the runway, the process starts all over again. We don't text and talk. So we basically have to stop the jet. In the datacom world, that's all happening electronically, and it's a much faster process. Datacom is what the FAA calls its new communication system. We've got the new flight plan here. Transmitting and verifying the same information back and forth on screens electronically. It tells the tower that we have received the clearance. They'll load it because it is a good clearance, and then they're on their way. Now it takes two minutes where it would normally take 10 to 12 minutes. Oh, we love it. The process means passengers like us will spend less time on the ground and get to our de destinations faster. It also can save millions on fuel each month. The technology has been quickly rolled out nationwide since the summer of 2015. It debuted in Chicago last October with 30% of the flights at Midway now and 10% at O'Hare communicating this way. In the newsroom, Vince Girasoli, CBS2 News. All right. Thank you, Vince.